Hello, it's Caroline, and this is the Deck the Halls collab, so welcome back. This is the final week of Christmas in July Deck the Halls collab, hosted by, or created by, I should say, Kim the Crafty Nomad, Terry from the Yarn Joy podcast, and Ella from No Catchy Name Crochet. So this is the final week, however, I will be finishing up my final details on my Christmas in July in August sometime. Um, so let's just start with some new things that I made. So in previous, the two things that I was able to finish, well, I take that back because I want to add some details to my stockings that you see. I want to give them some name tags, maybe some wooden beads just to dress it up a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to add some more to my stockings and then my Christmas pillow was needing to be finished up, so let's start with that. <laughs> it is done! Oh, it's so lovely. It's so lovely and so not Christmassy, right? But, you know, that is the theme I'm going for. This is like a gold, so... I put it together. I could not find a zipper big enough, and even if I did, there was no way I'd be able to sew. I mean, I guess it could, but I just went ahead and sewed it up with the yarn on the back. So here's my other side, and it matches perfectly with my chair, which I will show you a clip of. This is a new chair I added to my craft room so that I can crochet up here where all my yarn goodies are when I'm not downstairs. And I didn't have a chair except this one. And so this, this fits so nicely on my new chair. <sighs> Has a little arm lift. It's so cool, but it is my Christmas pillow, but I have a feeling it's going to end up up here instead. <laughs> okay, now the other thing that I was going to finish up was my wreath. Okay, but the wreath that I have, let's, let's give you a quick peek and then I'm going to show you a video of what I decided to do to give it that much more added detail. Okay, so here is the before. Notice that you see the detailing and you can push it forward if you want to so that you can see it in the front. I don't feel like I can see it enough, so I want to give this another go with a different stitch to give this detail, to make this detail stand out. However, so I'll show you that, but I also made this flower, which is a poinsettia flower, which I wanted to add to it. This is a lot of work. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. I believe there's twelve petals and two leaves. So that is a lot of sewing together. Oh, and then this that you sew. So that's 13 things that you crochet and then sew together. So I like it. I'm not sure I'm going to stick with it. But it is pretty. Oh goodness. And the reason why I'm not sure I'll stick with it is because my petals kind of curl. So I think you would need to add some wiring or some starch to keep them more open. Because once you put this away and then reopen it, it might not be as neat and you'll have to like freshen it up. So let's give this a go. Okay, so now I have my new way of hooking up the stitch. It is wrapping it around the hook and then looping it through so that I have that overlay 
stitch and it gives it a much more defined look. And then I pull it through those two loops. I got a little snag. This yarn is gorgeous and I found it at Hobby Lobby. It is a velvet, very thick yarn and they had it in several colors, but not this color anymore. So yeah, I wrapped it around and then I loop it yarn over and pull through those two loops. And not only am I giving, getting a very defined stitch on the top of the wreath, I'm also getting a twist in the yarn when it's going around the wreath itself. There's a little design that it's creating. I also found that I messed that little snag. I'm going to start over again so I can get it better. So this was really neat. I'm very happy I did this because the wreath that I did before was not as a tight stitch. It was much more looser around the wreath. And I'm getting this little curve twist when I wrap it around the wreath. So I'm, on, I'm, I'm also getting a defined texture on the wreath itself, as well as that little chain that's created by doing this stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video so you can uh, get 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 this done a little quicker. Okay, so welcome back. This is the reconstructed wreath. Here it is. So I left a hanger and this twine has this little white pearly looking thing, something you'd find at a wedding. I just wrapped it around to see if it's something I would like and notice that the definition, I believe, on the single crochet came out much better using the single crochet stitch with the hook. The first time I did it, and it's more consistent, and it provided this nice um, twist in the yarn as well throughout. Whereas the first time I did it, I, I don't know if I can insert a clip from the before to this one. This one is more consistent and more tight. It's It came out way better and so I re-switched it up and I'm trying out some things on it. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to decorate it yet but I do love this and I just went to Hobby Lobby and found that they had this in many colors. One was a red. It, it would look really lush but wreaths usually come in green and anyway, we shall see how this goes. This would be more of a wood tone, natural tone color. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see what I add to it. I know this is the last week of Christmas in July, but if I work on this or finish it, I will be sure to show you. Okay, leading off from last week, this was what I was doing and I showed you this, that I was gonna try and do those. I went to three different stores and couldn't find the wood rings. I went to Michael's, My Dollar Tree, and Hobby Lobby, and I could not, I could not find them. So what I did is today, <laughs> Saturday, I made one last attempt to go and check My Dollar Tree, and they had one package of two. <laughs> so I did my best to try and work one up, and here we go. I did not look for bows because I didn't even find the rings till just an hour before filming this. <laughs> I used Caron Simply Soft Party Yarn in the green. Joe's Web has been using this yarn and I'm like, I have that yarn. Why aren't I using it for Christmas? <laughs> and 
That is where I got the idea for the wreath and how I was crocheting it around here. I desperately wanted to have that same effect on my big wreath. And so how I was doing it, I paid attention to how the hook was going around the, how the yarn was going around the hook. And hopefully I inserted a clip already, but um, I did have a bell. I do not have any bows, but I found these tags at Hobby Lobby. They have their Christmas out already, but you can use this as your place setting. And here's just another picture real quick. So they have some holly leaves, a bell, and a bow. And I did make the holly leaves, and they're right here, and they do look really good, but I'm not completely finished. I want to make sure it's something I'm going to stick with before I make... <laughs> Before I make it official, I have these two little holly leaves. They're so tiny. I'm sorry you can't see them. Here's another one. So you make two, and then you put these little red, but I had these, I had this little bag of glitter that had red and silver in them, and I thought, what if I put that on the holly leaf? You see how glitified it is. If I put that on the holly leaf, I think that would look really good. I'm sorry, this is really hard to hold. Um, so you get my idea though. So this is what I'm still working on. But at least I finished my pillow. I finished some stuff. Well, I also want to add some more detail to my stockings. So not just, um, working up the pattern but i want to completely finish it and de decorate it so i also bought um, some wood beads with these tags but i think this will be too small for my stockings so i may get something bigger too much of a mess of a video i hope you got inspired for the love of crochet for your christmas in july and i had a lot of fun and this really got my head going with what to get ready for Christmas. And wouldn't you know it, Hobby Lobby already has their Christmas out. They just put it out. <laughs> I saw so many things, but I'm gonna wait for that 40% off to start buying little things that I might use for my stockings or my Christmas decor. Uh, let me know what you think about the pearls twine around the wreath. Now, I was thinking of adding maybe a star I'm not sure in the picture oh no yeah in the picture they they did fall so I'm not quite sure what I'll do yet and so it's gonna take me some time because I want it to be something permanent but let me know what you think about this twine because I can also hang things on it maybe bulbs Christmas decor Christmas um, decorations so that is <laughs> a wrap so let's just let's just do a quick recap. So for the first week, I did the stockings, which was so cool. Loved it. Did it. Then on the second week, I did the lighting, oh, the jar lighting. That was so easy and so fast. Loved it. Then the third week was a surprise because I made this gorgeous bear by Craftably Ever After. The pattern is not out yet, but when it is, I will be sure to let you know. And all that gold and glitter, I just love it. And I finished up a second stocking for that third week. And I started my pillow, or I started the second part of the pillow. And then for this final week, I finished my pillow. I started the fifth project, but not, and now I'm just going to finish up, wrap it up nicely, hopefully next month. We'll see what I can get done and see what ends up being um, done as a completion item. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I sincerely appreciate it. Bye.